So today I just wanted to explain my uh, overly elaborate uh, water ritual. And I am not by any means saying it, everybody should or has to do this. It's sort of like my hobby. And probably if you did even any one of these steps of mineralizing and vortexing it would, structuring it would be fine. So first of all, we're on town water, although sometimes I get primary spring water, but let's just say the times I'm using town water. Water comes in through the basement, it goes through a carbon filter, which gets everything out but fluoride, but there is no fluoride in our town's water. And then it goes through a copper tube that has an internal vortexing device. Uh, then it comes from there into the Ophora water filter, which is a reverse osmosis device. So it takes again everything out of there, which we, didn't, we wouldn't want. It adds some more minerals to it, and then it puts it through a rose quartz, essentially vortex. And then the water comes out here, either cold or hot. So after that, uh, and again, that could be fine for most people, but I'm, you know, I like to do this. So I then had this uh, Schauberger Dimensions funnel made, and you can see you put the water in the top, and it creates this amazing funnel vortex as it goes through. And then again, the dimensions are important, and this was designed by Schauberger and made by his grandson. So then I have another layer of structured water. So then I uh, take this structured water and I add just about a teaspoon or so of the marine plasma. This you can get from our site. This is Vortex seawater and I add it to this. Uh, the next thing I do is I have this ceramic egg, uh, which is basically ceramic made out of uh, ceramic in the shape of an egg. I put that in the sun about once a week just to charge it up. It has a shungite top. I pour the water in there. I won't do that now. And it's sitting on an orgone uh, base that has a copper ring. So this gives another kind of uh, energetic charge to the water. And it sits in there for about a day. So the final steps, I take the water after it's been sitting in the ceramic egg for about a day and I pour it into my the container here and then I stir it for about a minute with our Analemma water wand. This adds some more coherence to the water. Uh, there's if people are interested in learning more about this. They should go to the interview I did with Dolph, Dolph Santigo about two years ago. They have a number of studies showing that water exposed to this wand increases the biophoton, the bioluminescence of the water or or the seeds that have been watered with this. Uh, so I do that and then I pour it into this carafe and the carafe, carafe either sits on the counter for, uh, for you know, room temperature water or one goes into the refrigerator and that's what we use for cold drinking water. So if the question is, why do I do all this? Uh, one thing is fun. I like messing around with water. I like putting my intention and my consciousness into the water. I like making the water as alive or pure and coherent as I can. I also think there's uh, a lot of evidence that we are made of coherent water. Not to say that the water that we drink or bathe with goes right into our cells. I don't think that is true but it sends some sort of signal, some sort of resonance energy uh, that makes us be happier, healthier, and more alive.